For solving these equations, we're going to pay particular attention to whether or not the variables in the numerator, as here and here, or in the denominator, as here and here. And this is consistent to the approach we used on the previous video, where we made a distinction between the variable in the top or the bottom. If it's in the bottom, you've got to get it out from here in some way. If it's on the top, all you got to do is get rid of that 20, and you're good to go. Looking at our first equation, to get x by itself, all I need to do is get rid of the 5. On this side, this fraction is a bit of a mess. It's a complex fraction. You have a mixed number over a whole number. Normally, I might just clean this up first. But since all I have to do is say times 5 and times 5, I'll go ahead and do that. This side's cleaned up because these 5's are going to cancel. Over here, I can just deal with what I've got. Notice with the 5 and the 10, the common factor of 5 cancels very easily. 5 goes into 5 once. 5 goes into 10 twice. And now we can just clean this up. This is 2 over 1. So we have 7 and 2 thirds divided by 2 over 1. So we'll make this improper. That's 21, 23 thirds. And if we divide by 2 over 1, we multiply by its reciprocal, or 1 half. Nothing will cancel, so we simply multiply straight across. So we've rewritten all this as 23 6. I'll just put it down here. And again, 5 canceled 5. You're left with x is equal to 23 6. Looking at the next equation, you have the variable in the numerator. All I need to do is multiply by 6.8, and I'll have x all by itself. On this side, I could clean this up some, but usually with a decimal, I'll just leave things as they are and deal with them when I need to. So we'll multiply by 6.8 and multiply by 6.8. Obviously on this side they're going to cancel. Over here it's easier to multiply than divide so we'll do the multiplication first. And because of the one decimal. So we have 13 and 6 tenths over 5 and 4 tenths. and that's equal to x. So what we have to do now is clean this up. So this is 13.6 divided by 5.4. Of course you have to move your decimals, tell the world. And I mentioned this earlier but it's kinda hard to think of how many times 54 goes into 136. But if you cover a digit and cover a digit 5 goes into 13 twice, so 54 probably goes in there twice. 2 times 50 is 100, 2 times 4 is 8, so 2 times 54 is 108. I need to bring down a digit. So put in a zero and bring it down. And again, 5 goes into 28 5 times. So I'll try 5 times 54. 27. So that would be 270. So 5 times 54, 270. One more zero to bring it down. Notice it says to round to the tenths place. I already have the tenths place. All I need is to know this next digit. 
And obviously 54 is only going to go in there one time. So I don't have to do any calculation. So rounding to the tenths place, we get 2 and 5 tenths. Looking at this equation, the variables in the numerator, all I need to do is get rid of 4 and 2 fifths. It's held by division. So I'll multiply by 4 and 2 fifths. I left it in this form here because I know that's the same, it's going to cancel. But on the other side, when I multiply by 4 and 2 fifths, I need the improper fraction. So that's 22 fifths. And again, these are the same value. I just wrote it in the form I need it over here. Obviously, they cancel. We'll have y all by itself. Here, nothing's going to cancel. So 3 times 22 is 66. 5 times 7, 35. And we have y all by itself. Looking at this problem, the variables in the numerator, all I have to do is multiply by 8. But this side is such a mess, I'm just going to clean this up first. So this is 1 and 4 fifths divided by 6 and 2 thirds. So let's write that as 5 9 fifths. And I'll be real explicit this time. I'll say it's divided by 20 over 3. But when you divide by a fraction, we have to flip it or take the reciprocal and multiply. And nothing's going to cancel. So we get 27 over 100. I'm just going to put that down here. We'll bring down the equals and r over 8. All we have to do is get rid of that 8, so multiply by 8. On this side, 8 goes into 8 once. That always happens. Over here, uh, we have a common factor of 4. Divide by 4 leaves us with 2. Divide by 4 leaves us with 25. So we have r is equal to... 2 times 27 is 54, and if you're not clear on that, just multiply it out real quick. But we have 54 over 25. Looking at this problem, we have the variable in the denominator. So I'm going to need to get this out of here. I think before I get started, I'll just clean up this side. This is 7 over 1, and I'm going to divide it by 2 and 4 fifths. When you divide by a fraction, you flip it and multiply. So that's 10 14 fifths. So 5 fourteenths is what we multiply by. Obviously, we have a common factor. Divide by 7. Divide by 7. So we end up with 5 halves. And we'll just put that down here. So we have 10 over r. I want to get the variable out from here. So I'm going to multiply by the LCD, which is 2r. And here the R's cancel, the 2's cancel. You're left with 2 times 10, or 20, is equal to 5R. You want to get rid of the 5, so divide by 5. 
those cancel, we have r is equal to 4. Looking at this one, you have variable in the denominator. You need to get this out of here. On this side, we could clean this up first, but usually with decimals, I just leave them as they are and deal with them when I have to. So we need to just clear this of fractions. We'll multiply by the LCD, which is 3.5x. And of course they cancel and they cancel. So we're left with 7 tenths x. Three point five times four point one. Just calculate that right here. Twelve fourteen. And you have two decimal places. If you're trying to get x by itself, we'll divide by seven tenths. And I think I can fit the division in here. 7 into 14. Seven into three, zero. Bring down your next digit. Seven into 35 is five, and that's 35. So we get 20 and 5 tenths. Of course, those canceled. All right, we have two more to take care of. Looking at this one, variables in the denominator. Rather than just multiply by the LCD, I think I'm gonna clean this up first. This is kind of a mess to look at. So let's make this improper, 21 fourths. This is six over one. So 21 fourths divided by six over one means times one-sixth. Now if you can notice there's a common factor of three in each of these. Divide by three leaves you with two. Divide by three leaves you with seven. So we have seven-eighths. That's a lot better. So I'll just write that down here. Bring down our four over y. Now we'll just multiply by 8y, which is our LCD. So the y's cancel. 8 times 4 is 32. 8's cancel, you've got 7y. And now we'll just divide by 7 and divide by 7. Of course, they cancel. y is equal to 32 sevenths. Looking at our last one, variables in the denominator. This side's kind of a mess, so I think I'll just clean it up real quick. 2 over 1 divided by 5 6 means times 6 fifths. So what do we get? 12 fifths I'm just bringing this down here. This equal to 10 over k. I'm just bringing that down. We want to get this out of here, so we're just going to clear it of fractions. The LCD is 5k. Of course, the fives cancel. The k's cancel. So you have 12k. And 5 times 10. Just got to get rid of the 12. Divide by 12. They cancel. K is equal. A uh, common factor of 2. So you get 25 over 6.
If you would like some practice with these concepts, as long as you're at my website, you can download a worksheet along with a detailed answer key.